I'm James Fisher with Delmar Poultry Industry Incorporated. I'm here with Amy Seister for another one of our webcam check-ins. Uh, so Amy, tell me where you are in Delmarva and what hats you wear, what roles you play in the chicken community. Well, I'm currently situated in um, Harrington or Farmington, Delaware, uh, where my husband and I have four poultry operations um, that we grow poultry for Mount Air Farms. I also work for Chemtrade Logistics as a territory manager. Uh, we supply uh, litter amendments to the poultry industry. So I'm most interested in sort of for what may have changed in that in that that second role for for Chemtrade. So what chemtrade. what do you normally do? For, for what is your day-to-day -day work for Chemtrade involved? Well, working for Chemtrade has been a, a unique challenge. I'm actually a territory manager, which means I um, usually travel between Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, Delaware, and North Carolina. So with all of the um, issues going on, my company actually three weeks ago decided that we would do non-essential visits, which pretty much stopped us from doing a lot of things. I was actually scheduled to speak at a conference in um, Minnesota, and that was actually canceled as a result. So um, I've just been hanging out here at home, uh, helping periodically on the farm. It's not my everyday job, so I try not to get too involved in that if I don't have to. Um, but so now I'm just working from home, communicating with um, my applicators, the people that are applying our products and my customers and integrators via text messaging, email, phone call, um, no no face-to-face. -face. Okay. So that stinks. Yeah, yeah, that's tough for a person in your position, right? Because you're Absolutely. you're used to, you know, yeah. making that connection and solving Absolutely. problems in person, yeah. Yep, Absolutely. Yeah. So, and even if it doesn't fall on your shoulders, I imagine, you know, Chemtrade has had to do a lot to just sort of make sure the supply chain of, of what you supply to applicators, you know, stays, stays current and, and that they get what they need. Has that been difficult to do? Um, it has not. At this point, um, Chemtrade has done a very good job being very proactive. Um, we not only supply products, chemicals to the poultry industry, but we also supply products to the food and water industry as well. So we have been an essential business this entire time. So we are trying to be proactive in our approach to make sure that we have the raw materials coming in so that we can manufacture according to the needs of our customers. Okay. So there's a lot of behind the scenes conversations going on at a much higher level than I to make sure that we do have the transportation, the raw materials that all of our um, manufacturing facilities have um, proper plans in place to make sure that we're not only protecting our employees, but actually protecting the supply chain to our customers. Okay. And then from your point of view, you know, you're someone who is trying to stay in touch with, you know, your customers and your people around the region. Obviously, you've got a phone, you've got email, but what, what else, I mean, how are you staying in touch with people when you otherwise, you know, when you can't make a visit to them? And, and, and what might, you know, people in any kind of allied business who are in your shoes, who are, you know, trying to stay connected to their customers and, and help them when they can and keep those relationships, you know, how, how are you doing that? I think it's really challenging, actually, because everybody's got their own issues going on. I mean, all of our um, poultry processes are just trying to produce poultry um, meat to get into the grocery stores because we see a huge demand for that. And while I want to reach out to integrators, I also don't want to be a nuisance and bother them. So the best thing I can do is just assure them that at this time that our products are still readily available. We are not anticipating any supply chain issues at this point in time. However, um, nobody can predict what the future is going to hold. I mean, um, if something happens and transportation drivers are unavailable because of illness, I mean, we may see delayed shipments. What you were saying was, you know, basically, even if you if you have a, you know, a customer or a client who's really got their nose to the grindstone right right now they're they're really busy just making sure that that their process stays going 
maybe what you, what's best for you to offer is just, you know, hey, I know you got a lot on your plate, a lot of complications. I'm not one of them right now. You know, everything we've been providing, we're still providing. I'll tell you if that changes, but you don't have to worry about me right now. It's basically your message. Right. That's exactly my message. I do not want people to think that I'm ignoring them. Okay. I'm just trying to let them do their job because we sure. um, are able to, to get our product out the door. And if for some reason that were to change, I would certainly be in contact with them to let them know that um, there is a disruption in the supply chain, but it's uh, er, the supply chain. But at this point, it is business as usual for Chemtrade um, under some new things, like as many people that can work from home are. I mean, our, our main uh, headquarters is actually in Canada. So all of our customer service representatives are even working from home. So we are trying to fulfill all the needs of our customers with as few disruptions as possible. And on Delmarva, you know, Delaware, Maryland, where there are lots of orders about, you know, non-essential businesses being closed, agriculture is essential business. Agriculture is open and the companies like yours that support ag, you know, are open. But it sounds like, you know, you've, in, in, in having this order not, you know, not to, to do non-essential travel, you know, you're taking the, the smart approach of just because I legally can travel, I'm still going to, you know, be selective about which employees really need to. Well, and that's correct. I mean, Chemtrade is, is definitely taking that approach that only those necessary to get, our, to get our product to the end user are the ones on the road. Everybody else is, um, you know, staying um, socially distant to make sure that, you know, we are, are not part of the disruption, but hopefully part of the the positivity of this, you know, that, that we're keeping our distance, not because we want to, but because we feel it's the right thing right. to do. But I think that's a smart decision for, you know, a lot of our allied businesses around in and around agriculture to make is, you know, I know that by being essential, you know, I have the ability to get around, but I'm going to be smart about choosing when I don't need to exercise that. Correct. Correct. Now, if somebody had a major issue, I would be first to raise my hand and say, hey, what can I do to help you? Mm -hmm. um, and I would hope that people know that, you know, I'm just a phone call away if somebody needs some help. Okay. And maybe my last question, you know, since I'm, I'm working at home, you're working at home, you know, you may, you may have more experience with this than most because you're traveling around all the time, you know, you're not checking into an office every day, but what are, what are your tips and tricks for being productive and staying sane when you're working you know, uh, on your own for so for so long. Have designated office time. It's okay. easy when you work from home to get sidetracked by all the other things, the laundry, the cooking, the cleaning, um, just, you know, the socialization with your family when they're home and you're home. Um, sometimes I have to just lock myself in my office to be able to get things done. Sure, sure. All right. Well, Amy Seister with Chemtrade Logistics, thanks for your time. Best of luck, and uh, we'll see you again on the other side of this. Perfect. Thanks, James. Have a great Thanks, day. Amy. You too.